Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Thursday, August 1st, 2024. Welcome to the month of August as we're breaking down each and every game on the slate for today. Short slate, six games, but we're hitting them all. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. Battle of first place team, 640 Eastern Baltimore Orioles at the Cleveland Guardians. Ben Lively going for the Guardians. It's still undecided for the Orioles. I was trying to wait to, to get confirmation here, but I do think it's going to be Dean Kramer going for the O's. Total nine and a half minus 110. That's Cleveland is the short home favorite. Of course, both teams, great record on the season. Pretty similar. Both teams, uh, what, over 20 games, over 500. Game one of a four-game set here. And if it is Kramer going for the O's, the 28-year-old out of UNLV, the former running rebel, been pretty decent overall. 4.20 ERA for the season. He's up against Lively, 32-year-old out of UCF, the former Golden Knight. Good numbers himself. 3-4 ERA. A little bit higher FIP, 4.5. The thing here is Cleveland... Their lineup has been cold since the All-Star break. Bottom five across baseball. Baltimore top five. Like betting on the, the hotter lineups out of the break here. We got almost, you know, two-week sample size. And the lefty-righty dichotomy for Cleveland. You know, they're a bottom half lineup against righties. So if it is Kramer, I think they might struggle a little bit. They're top 10 against lefties. Baltimore good against whoever, whoever they're facing, you know, for their overall metrics. Both bullpens look pretty solid. Hey, game one, slight dogs here with the Baltimore Orioles. Let's go on the O's, minus 105, listing Dean Kramer as the starter. Next one up, we'll head to the Motor City AL Central, or AL Central matchup, I should say. Third and fourth place teams in the division. It is the Royals at the Tigers. Seth Lugo going for the Royals. Kyder Montero, the 24-year-old Venezuelan, going for the Tigers. Eight and a hook being the total. Minus 148. That's the Royals is the road favorite. They come in after sweeping the Chicago White Sox. Now 60 and 49 on the year. They got Lugo, whose who's full season metrics are great. 2-6 ERA. But he's been blasted two of the last three starts. So something to pump the brakes there on the Royals starter in Montero. He hasn't been good of late. He's given up five earned runs in each of his last three starts. Detroit has lost three straight games, and their lineup is ice cold as well out of the break. I mean, the 29th across baseball, only the White Sox worse. They're five games under 500, losing those three straight. It's not a best bet by any means because Lugo has had some issues of late. But, uh, hey, like the Royals here, minus the 148 price tag if you're needing something in the Motor City. Heading to the Peach State up next, Georgia, that is. Cobb County, to be exact, with the Atlanta Braves hosting the Miami Marlins. 7 o'clock Eastern hour. It's Max Meyer going for the fish. Charlie Morton going for the Braves. Braves near $2 home favorites, total of nine. The Marlins come in, what, 20 game, 28 games under 500. they have traded away a lot of their players, kind of playing for next year. They did get, you know, overall kind of looking – rating it out. I, I I felt like considering the situation for this season with the fish, they played good for, for the trades in terms of their future. Now we'll see how they play here down the stretch. They got a lot of young talent back and they got Meyer speaking of young talent here, their starter 25 year old, former first rounder out of Minnesota, the former golden gopher. He's had four starts off of injury this season, four to six innings in each of them. Velocity hitting 95, looking strong. He's got a three ERA. He's a highly sought-after prospect here. The Fish actually won the last Meyer start as plus 150 dogs. They just won yesterday, plus 230. So, hey, it speaks to one of the great things about betting baseball. Some of these teams, you're catching plus prices. You can really be making some money. This Fish lineup, top 10 since the All-Star break. I'm not necessarily looking to go against them, particularly catching big plus prices like they are here plus 172 right now as I'm talking in the morning on Thursday. And Charlie Morton, look, the Braves have won four of their last five. They're, what, nine games over 500 in the playoff mix. It is their first game home off of a seven-game road trip. That's usually not a, a bet-on spot. They've actually lost three of the last four Charlie Morton starts. So 
for whatever reason, he hasn't been pitching all that well. He was winless in the month of July. He gave up six earned runs last time facing the fish. So they've seen him well. And he did not make it out of the third inning last time out against the Mets. So overall, guys, hey, I think this is a shot. If you like taking dogs, take a big swing here. Miami Marlins plus 172 with a big dog barking in the ATL. We'll head to the Windy City up next, 8 o'clock Eastern hour. St. Louis Cardinals, Chicago Cubs battle in the NL Central here with Shota Imanaga, the lefty 30-year-old Japanese-born player going for the Cubs. Minus 110 near Pickham Price. He's up against Sonny Gray and the Redbirds. Total of eight in Wrigley Field. Sonny Gray, the first rounder out of Vanderbilt. Back-to-back, five earned run starts. Three of the last four, he's kind of been... He's kind of been rocked. Five earned runs in three of the last four. He still does have a sub four ERA, but not pitching as well of late. He's up against Imanaga. This guy's been great. Sub three ERA, 111 to, to 17 strikeout to walk ratio. And the last time he faced the Cardinals lineup, a Cardinals lineup that does have a negative lefty righty dichotomy working against them. This is a good lineup. Top 10 against righties, bottom five against lefties. And they're facing a good lefty here. And it shows in his last start against the Cubs, seven innings, one earned run, just four hits given up about a month ago against the Cardinals. Hey, guys, I think uh, the Cubs, minus 110. I think this number's short at home. Let's list Shota Imanaga and bet on the Cubbies over the Cardinals. Got one game left. Hey, a reminder, short slate, but let me know in the comments below what you're looking to bet on today's to today's card uh what you think of the show all is welcome smash that like button if you're liking the content and if you're interested in premium picks drew martin wagertalk.com four percent bet up and available for tonight we got the weekend packages coming shortly without further ado final game on the card degenerate special feel here on the diamond 9 38 eastern southern california it's the la angels anaheim angels up against the Colorado Rockies. It's Feltner going for the Rocks. Fulmer going for the Halos. Looks like the Angels minus 115 to as high as minus 125. Home favorites. Eight in the hook being the total. Colorado, miserable year overall. What, more than 30 games under 500? Just 15 and 41 on the road. They did win yesterday, but they've lost five of their last six games. They got Feltner on the hill, 27-year-old out of Ohio State, the former Buckeye, 5 ERA. I guess you could make the argument if you're looking to bet on the Rockies. He has been a little bit better of late. He is better on the road. He's up against Fulmer here, the former first-rounder also out of Vanderbilt. 3-7 ERA, only 41 hits in 57 innings. He's been tough to hit here, the 30-year-old going for the Halos. Overall, guys, I think this number's short. You know, we're always looking to kind of fade on the Rockies on the road, just that miserable road record. I mean, 15 wins and what, 65 road games? Hey, I think they drop another one here, guys. So it's the Halos late night degenerate special feel. We'll list Fulmer as the starter, bet on the Angels over the Rockies. In recap, we got the Cubbies, minus 110, Imanaga as the starter, taking a big swing here with the Fish. Plus 172, listing Max Meyer as the starter. We got the Royals, Seth Lugo on the hill, minus 148. And we got the Baltimore Orioles over the Cleveland Guardians. First game up, happy hour special there with uh, Dean Kremer and the Orioles, minus 105. So that's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond on Thursday. Smash that like button, comment below, guys. Cash those tickets. Stay tuned for the Friday show. Until then, thanks for tuning in.